which means Vlogmas or Flossmas. <laughs> I just wanted Maggie to come over. Um, so I am super excited to be doing this. This is going to be so much fun. I will probably do the majority of the recording on my phone, maybe. I don't know. And here I'm looking at myself versus the camera. So that'll probably happen a lot too. But Meg, will say hi to everybody. So I just want to kind of do this as a vlog style. I mean, every day I probably won't like sit and talk, but I do have three advent boxes that I'm going to be opening for you. Um, so I have the Black Needle Society, the nice list. I have the Stitchy Box, Bash Box, I think it's called. It is actually not here yet. Um, as of yesterday, it was still in Salt Lake City, so I have no idea when that's going to arrive, but I will catch up when it does arrive. So, and then also I have, I was so, so, so fortunate enough to get one of the Kitten Stitcher Advent Boxes, which I am like so excited. I'm so excited about all three of them. Um, so I just thought I would do Flossmas. It'll be fun. Um, and Maggie wants to do it to you. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her legs, she actually is bow-legged. She's got pretty severe chondrodysplasia. Oh, she's so tired. Mama's scratching my neck. Um, and she does take some supplements and stuff for that. Um, but she's had it since she was a baby. As she's getting older, she's almost eight. Yes, almost eight. Um... Of course, she limps a little more, but that's to be expected. She's probably got arthritis. Um, so I don't know if I've ever explained that to you guys before, but yep, she just wants to say hi. Oh, shaky, shaky. <laughs> Are you a good girl? Um, I do have all of my Christmas decorations up. I showed in the beginning of this video um, on that shelf behind me is I am obsessed with all of things acrylic. Um, lighted acrylic ornaments and such. And so I, um, yeah, so I showed those all lit up last night. Um, I, I probably have been shaky on this phone. I got to do a better job of making sure I'm not, um, covering up the speaker and I'm not shaking all over for you guys. Also, I just wanted to show you, and I'll probably have to record this separately, it is freaking warm in Minnesota. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, like, yesterday I think it got to 50 or something. Today, right now, it's like 40. We had rain last night and this morning. The grass is still green. That's ridiculous. Like, it's December. Bring me snow. This Minnesota girl needs snow. Okay, you guys. Here, look at this nonsense. That's my backyard. No snow, green grass, we had rain. Frustrating. But, and the sky kind of looked cool today. I don't know if it's picking up where you can see, but it's kind of neat. Anyway, there's Minnesota with no snow. Ridiculous. Okay, bye. Um, so, anyhow, I just wanted to come on here and say hi. I'm excited. Also, you are probably going to see me, if I didn't say this already, I will probably not be putting any makeup on for these because I do not put makeup on every day. You know, maybe I'll get frisky and do it every once in a while, but today is not that day. So also my hair is getting super duper long and I don't know if any of you have had COVID or post COVID issues. And if you've lost a ton, a ton of hair, well, I have, and I'm still losing hair. It's ridiculous. And I'm still, I'm getting all this new growth and baby hair. It's like all since COVID. It's ridiculous. And that was in March, you guys. Um, I can get my booster on Friday. I'm so excited because with this new variant and the numbers are very, very high here in central Minnesota right now. Um, they actually, Washington DC actually sent healthcare workers to my local hospital, um, because it's 
so bad here that we need extra help. Um, so this area isn't good and I think we're going to do a lot more hibernating than we anticipated this winter, which kind of sucks. But um, I don't want COVID again, so I'm excited to get my booster on Friday. I'm a little nervous because my husband got his booster and he felt yucky for two days, but he also got his flu shot at the same time, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, so double whammy, but I'm going to get my booster on Friday. Yay, because I don't want it. I know I've said that. I don't want it. Okay, so I'm going to hop off here right now. The next video you will see is me opening um, the boxes from Kitten Stitcher and Black Needle Society and opening day one. I also um, want to show you what I've been working on. So I'll probably do those kinds of updates. I'll probably do some haul updates through these videos. Instead of doing just one big video, I will probably do just the small daily ones um, now. I hope that I do daily ones. I may occasionally miss a day. If I do, then I'll do two things on one, you know, two openings on one day. But, um, yeah. So, and there's my tree. I love my glass ornaments. That's what's on all of them. I'll take some video at night so you can see it too, but... And I'll probably show my, my ornaments. I've been collecting them for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. And then I also love nutcrackers. And I got a couple new ones this year. I've been collecting them for years too. So yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you soon or like for you it's in like two seconds. Okay. Okay, I'm back. See, I told you it was only two seconds. All right, so this is my kitten stitcher box. This one is super cool. I'm gonna open it. Um, this one, oh my gosh, you guys. So, Kitten Stitcher, Teresa Vinette has had been working on this for a long time. Um, there are a lot of companies that are included in this um, advent box. Here are all the goodies. And um, they're all exclusives to this box. However, she has get, given the companies permission to release the patterns or the the things in 2022 so all the things that you see throughout here aren't going to be just for us forever that got the box if you weren't able to get the box you will be able to order this stuff in the future so um anyways i there are i'll just read a list of the companies it's the b company the Blue Flower, Dames of the Needle, The Gentle Art, Hands Across the Sea Samplers, Hands to Work, Heartstring Sampler, Samplery. I don't know why. I always have a hard time saying that word. Hello from Liz Matthews, Just Another Button Company, Kathy Barrick, La Di Da, Needlework Press, Plum Street Samplers, The Primitive Hair, The Scarlet Letter, The Scarlet House, Stacy Stace, Nash Primitives. Oh, my eyes itchy. Um, Stone Street, Stitchworks, Taylor Nash, Teresa Colgate, The Thread Gatherer, and of course, Shakespeare's Peddler Kitten Stitcher. Um, so, um, anyways, this is the bag of goodies. Now, I, I should have went through this, and I just saw an email from the Black Needle Society this morning that I should have went through to make sure that they were all there, because if you're missing something, yesterday was the deadline to let them know. So I'm going to go through them quick here. Um, so here's day one. Um, I guess I don't need to do this on camera, but I'm going to go through all of them once I get off camera um, to see if I got them all. Here is the Black Needle Society box. It's a biggie. I'm excited. Okay, so let's do day one of Kitten Stitcher. This one is by Stacy Nash Designs, 100% beeswax made by Taylor Nash. Super cute packaging. And then she has these really cool cards on every one of them. I love that. So let's open it. All right, it is 
a bees waxer. It's some little bells. They're red. A couple little pieces broke off. That's okay. Looks like, yeah, it looks like just some of the leaves on the edges broke off, which it's super delicate, so it doesn't surprise me and it doesn't bother me at all. But that is super cute. I've never used beeswax. Does the color, like, matter? Does that get on your flosses? It smells like beeswax, that's for sure. You have to let me know down below. Okay, so day one of the kitten stitcher has been opened. Wow. And this is the Black Needle Society, the nice list. I did open it and then I taped it shut because I saw like all the presents in there and I, so I should have checked, but I will do that um, to make sure I have them all after this. If there is one missing, maybe definitely the next day they will help me, but I'm sure they don't miss anything because those girls are very thorough. All right. So the first thing I see is this scratch off that shows, that talks about each gift. So I'll scratch those off every day as well, um, but I will do that after I open. So I'm not like, I'm not like giving anything away. I'm just seeing if I have anything that I can use in the near vicinity to scratch it off. We'll see. Okay. So they always do such pretty packaging. All of these neat little bags. Oh, there's so many cute bags. There's number two. Oh, that's 22. Two. 11. Three. I might. Because these are all, I think they just put them in order that works for the box um, to get it out to everyone. To, or to fit. 15. Eight. 16, this has two stickers, oh, they're both labeled 23, <laughs> this is a cute bag, I like that, oh, here's one, I found one, there, this is like plumpful, you guys, I don't even know how they fit all this, like, it's gotta be strategic, man, so I will go through those off camera to make sure I have everything, but, I do have number one, so let's open that. It's a cute drawstring bag. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a Santa or a tree on the back. Okay, so day one. Season of Love, pattern number 10. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. I've never seen this before. Well, I think I have seen them, but this, you can make an ornament. The design area is 25 by 25, and designed by the Black Needle Society. It comes with a cute little ornament, and so it has to be done on 16 count Ada, or 32 count, I'm sure I have a piece. Um, it was stitched on Monet from Picture This Plus. So, um, and then they also gave a snowflake and some ribbon to finish it. I only have two ornaments done. I do need to order some trim. Um, but I, I think eventually when I get enough ornaments, I'm probably going to get another small tree because I'm weird about this. Like I have all glass ornaments on my tree. So I think it would look really funny if I started putting you know, these bright, shiny ornaments and then cross-stitched ornaments. I don't feel like they would look good together. So, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stitch this up real quick. It's tiny. I mean, it's not going to take long and I, you know, you can literally do it in any color. This is perfect project for a piece of scrap fabric from your stash. Two strands of floss over one thread. They did use DMC a toile. C519 and DMC Etoile Blanc. So I take that back about, I mean, you could use any flosses you want, but that's so pretty, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm going to keep that out. 
Oh, I just showed the back. I don't think you can get, sorry. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to get the pattern from that. So, yeah, I love both of the day ones. I wish I had the stitchy box one. Anyway. All right. Oh, and we're going to scratch this off. Let me see if I have something that can scratch it. Yep. It's not working very well. Oh, and it does talk about where the trims came from. So in here, um, let me see if I have something over here. Be right back. I'll use the edge of a scissors. You guys, it shouldn't take this long for me to scratch off this. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure that I have a coin with me going forward. All right, I think I can read it. Mini hoop and ribbon. Lady Dot Creates and the Black Needle Society. Stitch the snowflake and finish it into a hoop attached to ribbon for a winter necklace. Oh, a necklace. I'm going to use it as an ornament. I like that. I like it as an ornament. I probably won't wear it as a necklace, so I'm going to use it as an ornament. Whoops, you guys fell. So, yeah, that was fun day one. Um, next, in about two seconds for you, I'm going to show you what I've been working on and what my plans are coming up. So I'll be back. Okay. Now I'm back out in the dining room. So I post on my Instagram and I think I showed on my last video. I did. Jan Hicks, um, from Jan Hicks Creates is going to be doing a sale starting today Christmas Advent 2021 sale and we are working on the Christmas Advent from I believe it's 2020 from Crochetta Agogo. I still don't know if I'm saying that right but regardless I will put a picture reminding you um what that looks like but what I did um so a week and a half ago Saturday I started on the border um so that I could get a lot of the border done so then when each square like I'm gonna try to get as many squares done as I can but just to take the time um to do the border so I don't have to worry about that but I did get four of the rows done on that sorry for the angle so I'm gonna start day one um here today now um I think I mentioned in my last video Hers go vertical, so one, two, three, four, and so on, and then, but I don't like that. Maybe that's the way they do it in the country she's from. I can't, I don't know if it's France or Italy. I'm not quite sure where she's from, but I want to do it in horizontal rows, so one, two, three, four, so I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to start working on one today. Now, they're only like 50 by 50 or something pretty small. Um, so hopefully they don't take too long. I know some of them are a little more dense than others, but anyways, so that's plans. The other thing I've been working on is I pulled this back out two days ago, three days ago. Um, winter white sampler from Mirabilia and it's so beautiful. I hadn't worked on it in like since last year, so it was fun to get it back out. I'll put a picture of where I was at before and I have made just in two days of stitching, I've made so much progress. It's on my stand, so I'm going to hold it as best as I can. But that is the progress I've made, you guys. Now, everything is called for fabric um, and flosses, everything. Obviously, 32 count, so you can do the beads, whatnot. Needle minder by clay by Kim. Yeah, so I love the progress I made on that super excited um oh with this the fabric is balmoral 40 count by color and cotton it was either september or october or november maybe october november 
um, neutral fabric color of the month and it's literally perfect. The only thing that I did to change this is I changed the white to B5200 because I wanted it to be more bright on the fabric. And I love it. So that is what I've been working on. I did go ahead and get all the flosses for this one. So, um, and I ordered a Christmas, um, floss holder from Bags Plus that should be here soon, I would think. Um, just because I feel like this project's gonna take a little bit longer and um, then I don't have to dig out of my DMC bins every time I wanna work on it, so. Bag by so much to love. Yeah, so that's what I have. Oh, I wanna show you one more thing, one second. I did get my, um, Peace on Earth, Pray for Peace by Teresa Colgate Dunn. This is the model, and I got it framed at Michael's. And I love it. I love how they, you know, left some air as if, you know, you're looking into the night sky, so there's more room on the top, and how they framed it tight on the bottom. So I do really, really like that. And the frame is really cool. It's like rustic woodsy scratched looking. So yeah, there's that. All right. Well, I think that's all I got for right now. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Pass it along. Tell everybody I'm doing Flossmas. Um, I would love for everybody to watch and follow me. So bye guys.